Riders battled it out for the four-year-old buckle at the 2017 NCHA Lucas Oil Super Stakes, but it was Lindy Ashlock who took the night. She scored a 2.22 aboard in reverse. Congratulations to you, Lindy. Thank you. Thank you. How does it feel to be a winner here? It's amazing. It really De describe to us what it was like when you went through your run. Well, I cut my first cow, and uh, she was just a really nice cow, and it enabled me to... I guess get my horse in position and start my run off and then my second cow was amazing. And then uh, my, on my third cow I was going to cut a uh, cow that stepped up, yellow cow that stepped up front and I just felt like I had a little too much time to go with her. And so I went back and cut another black cow that we had liked in the settling. How did it feel when you were going through that ride? Because the 222 would have been one of the top scores here at the, high, uh, the whole event. Yeah, I mean, it was amazing. I've never felt anything like it in this pen. Now, the cattle have been pretty tough. How did you find them? They've been extremely tough. The semifinals was, I mean, I've never seen cows like that in this arena. Okay, tell us about your horse. What do you like about it? Um, he's just, he's extremely athletic. He has a big stop and um, he's just, I mean, he's always been a favorite. We bought him as a yearling from Gill Holmes, and uh, we've always had high expectations for him. It's just been a little time coming. <laughs> now, um, you've won something like, I think with, this, with the winnings here, you've won something like you'll top 1.3 million. Um, you're obviously a fairly experienced non-pro. How often do you find you have to stay you know, competitive? Are you riding at home and, and training at home? How much do you put into it you know, on a daily or weekly basis? We work every day. Yeah, at least five to six days a week, sometimes seven. <laughs> now, you had a very busy here tonight, day here today because um, your husband was in the final. He was last out in the open, and um, you had your final. You won, and then you've spent a couple of hours preparing your horse. Tell us about that. I mean, it was just its so amazing to have both made the finals here, and just anything on top of that was just, I mean, incredible. He was last out. Um, how were you feeling when you were watching him? Because he has a horse that could have taken it out. Um, he did pl probably play 7, 8th or ninth. we worked out. What were you thinking at that point? I mean, I was just, you know, I told him before he went in there, I was like, there hasn't been a lot marked. So it's just do what you can do. Go for it. Um, what are you going to do now with this horse? Um, we'll probably go home for a little bit and then we'll go to the BI. No rest for the wicked, huh? No. <laughs> we made a joke before this that if he doesn't win it, we were going to cut him. <laughs> okay. Well, congratulations and thanks for joining us. Thank you.